There are few animals scarier than the alligator. After all, this beast is considered to be the largest reptile in North America. And with its toothy mouth and its ability to walk and swim, this animal can easily keep humans away. And not only that, this animal is also very smart. It has learned to use tools to lure its prey. They keep growing during their lifetime and sometimes they can be as big as 15 feet long and weigh over a thousand pounds. While many of us would prefer to stay away from these creatures, some unlucky people had to interact with them even when they were not looking for it. Today I'll be showing you 10 alligators found in swimming pools. Find out how these huge reptiles ended up in some poor people's pools. Don't be surprised if you see Florida mentioned more than one time, cause that's kind of expected. I'm sure anyone living there can tell you about encounters with alligators. But I doubt anyone has a story as crazy as the one at the top of the list. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Alligator Rescue. Our first video takes place in, well, Florida, of course. I did warn you. Florida is alligator land. The story began with a very brave alligator that decided to take a dip inside a family's backyard pool. The animal had to be removed by a guy named Paul Bedard, who doesn't seem to be afraid of these big guys here. Paul had to corner the 8 foot long alligator until the animal finally got tired, and Paul was able to close its jaw, give it a little kiss, eh, more power to him, and then he picked it up and out of the pool, and then he put the beast inside his truck. The animal was about 185 pounds, but Paul didn't seem to have a problem with that. He handled everything very professionally and with ease. Honestly, not the kind of rescue team I'd be expecting, but I guess you can expect this kind of action in a place like Florida. Number 9. Looking for a golf ball. The next story takes place very close to a golfing course. After a man lost one of his golf balls, he decided to go and check if the ball had landed in his backyard. However, the man didn't find the golf ball. Instead, what he did find was a huge 9-foot alligator that was lying at the bottom of the pool. Yes, it was a bit of a big surprise, but not the kind of surprise that would make the man run away. He immediately equipped himself with tools and was able to pull the alligator from the bottom of the pool. The animal was a bit reluctant, but he didn't have a chance at winning this battle. Once the alligator was out of the pool, the man had to drag the beast until he finally took it out of his property. Poor alligator. It looked like he got pretty comfy. Number 8. Memorial Day Dip Memorial Day is one of the most important holidays in the American calendar. This day is celebrated on the last Monday of May, and it honors the men and women who died while fighting in the U.S. military. Since it's a holiday that happens towards the beginning of summer, you can expect to see a lot of people gathering to go for a dip in the pool at their homes, or they visit a pool in their area. But it seems like people are not the only ones who want to go for a swim. Back in 2017, a group was visited by an alligator who decided to join the pool party. The owners of the pool had to call the sheriff's office and ask for help. Of course, sheriffs are used to get calls on Memorial Day, as there are tons of people breaking rules and a few pool parties that go out of control. However, this time they were called for the alligator. The people who called said that the alligator was around 5 feet long, but when the authorities came over, they realized it was actually around 8 feet. They found out it was a female gator and she did not seem happy about being removed from that pool. I can't blame her personally. Number 7. Invasion of the Family Pool One morning, a family came to find out that there was an alligator inside their pool. It wasn't as big as the other alligators I've shown you, but man was it aggressive. When the specialist came, he realized the creature was about 6 feet long, and pointed out that these small gators are more likely to bite compared to larger ones. And oh, was he right. The animal tried to bite the guy a couple of times while he chased him underwater. When the gator was finally out of the water, he tried to bite the guy again, and then jump back in the water. The experts said that it was very important to sense how the animal feels, and to act accordingly. Otherwise, things could get messy. What I find interesting about this video is the amount of kids around the pool. It's as if they're so used to gators they want to learn how to handle them just so they can take care of situations like this one in the future. At the end, the rescue team was able to get the gator out of the water, but they had to make him a bit tired before they could tape his mouth and take him out. It's a ton of work, but they obviously knew what they were doing. Number 6. The Pool That Became a Home the next video shows us what happens when you don't do any maintenance on your pool. This guy named Omar finally decided to do something about this man-made pond that he had in the back of his house. The waters were murky and he observed some bubbles coming up to the surface. 
He figured there was some kind of fish or small underwater creatures living in there, so he decided to clean it up and figure out what was going on. According to him, the worst that could happen would be to find a snake. However, was he very much wrong as he found an alligator? A very small one, but one that could have kept growing if he hadn't been found in time. Apparently, the alligator had become very comfortable and was ready to make that place his living space if it wasn't for this cleaning routine. Omar then called a friend who knows about alligators and they took it to a safe space where it could grow without interfering with people's activities. Number 5. Marking Territory The family in this video wanted to go for a swim, but unfortunately someone had already beat them to it. It was an alligator, and of course, no one in the family wanted to share a pool with this animal that had already started to mark its territory. They called the rescue team, and one of the guys in the team explained to the family that they were going to remove the animal with their bare hands. It would be a bit of a workout, and it would take some time to get the task done, but doing so would be the right way to handle this reptile. According to this team, using ropes or other tools can be quick, but it's also abusive to the animal. So, they prefer to do things with their own hands, even if it takes a little longer. The animal was of course not happy about being removed from its newfound home, but I'm sure he appreciates that they handled him with care. Or he doesn't. Up to him. Number 4. The Floating Croc Alright, if we get technical, I guess we're cheating a bit by having a crocodile on our list of alligators. However, the animals are very similar to each other, and the main differences between these two have to do with their mouths and their heads. Other than that, the concept is basically the same, and I'm going to ignore all scientific facts pointing to that because that's just me. There are wild predators that can move in the water and on land and can attack you if they want to, so it's worth mentioning the story of this croc. The authorities who came to the rescue said the animal was literally chilling when they first found it. The owners of the pool understood how important it was to remove the croc from their property, but they definitely don't mind living so close to them. In fact, everyone in the neighborhood wanted to get rid of them at some point, but now they value their importance to keep things balanced in their ecosystem. I'm glad people are learning to get along with these animals. After all, they were there before humans moved in. Number 3. Intentionally Swimming with an Alligator Some people dream of swimming with dolphins, and some others dream of swimming with sharks, and some with alligators. I don't fully understand why, especially after seeing all the people on this video who went crazy after they noticed that there were big gators in their pools. But apparently some people actually want to swim with alligators while they learn more about them. This is possible thanks to companies like the Alligator Attraction, which works hard to preserve the alligators and teach people about them. And I know some of you might find this kind of attraction a bit controversial but they promised to give the most humane and professional care to these creatures. I guess we'll only know if we ever join one of their activities. So, if you've ever been part of a group that intentionally went for a swim with alligators, I hope you let us know in the comments. And now it's time for the day's best pick. Handling alligators is actually a huge responsibility. Not only do you gotta keep the people safe, but you also have to make sure the alligator goes back to a safe, natural environment. But some of you might be wondering what happens with these animals once they're taken from people's properties. The picture I have for you today shows two guys handling a six foot long alligator. Let's see what happened with number two. A small alligator in a big pool. We already know that smaller alligators are not necessarily less threatening than the larger ones. In fact, they're the most dangerous as they're more likely to bite. The alligator in this video was about six feet long when it ended up inside someone's pool. A rescue team came over and used a trap to catch the gator and safely removed it from the property. However, you can see that the gator was not happy at all. And honestly, I don't think any of the alligators mentioned today were happy when they were taken out of the pools they tried to take over. The people behind this video claim that the alligator was released back into the wild, so we don't have to worry about it being turned into a pair of boots or other piece of leather apparel at least. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Monday Surprise After a long and fun weekend, a Monday morning can be a bit of a disappointment, especially if it starts with an alligator inside your pool. And even worse, if the alligator is more than 9 feet long. The couple that lives in this house were actually aware that something like this would happen. 
especially because they live on the edge in the Everglades in Florida. Moments after sunrise, the woman scanned her surroundings before letting her dogs out like she normally does. And it's a good thing she checked, because that's when she found the massive alligator. She started laughing as she told her husband, and then they called the Wildlife Conservation Commission to take care of it. A trapper came and tried to remove the animal, but that's when they realized that the gator was bigger than they thought. The trapper had to go back and get bigger equipment before finally being able to remove the animal from the pool. That's pretty shocking, ain't it? It sounds like you gotta be ready for these events if you have a pool in a place so close to alligators. Have you ever seen an alligator inside a swimming pool? What was that like? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.